What's up guys, Straight Ground Roll coming back at you with another video and today we are doing a realistic rebuild of the San Francisco 49ers on the Madden 21. Um, uh, this team has had injuries hit them this year, which has not been good at all for their sake. Um, but don't forget to click that subscribe button for more videos. So, uh, let's go over the team. Jimmy G. I'm going to be honest with you, I'm probably going to trade him. He just probably has to go. Um, too inconsistent IRL, and I think the Niners in real life are going to trade him. Cut him, whatever. Running back, they've got a crowded backfield for sure. He, Mostert, Tevin Coleman, Jarek, uh, Jarek McKinnon, and Jeff Wilson Jr. They've been injured again as well. The entire team has been injured. Uh, I can probably name Jimmy G's been injured. Their running backs have been injured. Debo and Brandon Ayuk were both injured, I believe. Uh, Kendrick Bourne wasn't injured, though, right? Pretty sure. So, uh, but still, let's not talk about injuries. They're, they got a very, very good team. George Kittle, one of the best tight ends, probably second under Travis Kelsey. The O-line, eh, it's not the best, not the worst, but... And then, uh, we don't... You don't forget the best fullback in the league in Kyle Juszczyk. Defensively, it's still a very, very good defense. And you just have to remember that this team did everything that they did this year with, um, just, like, they won six games with basically backups playing all over the field, which is very, very good. That shows how well coached they are. Uh, the D-line, the best in football. Nick Bosa, Javon Kinlaw. Solomon Thomas, Eric Armstead, D. Ford. This team is more of a 3-4 right now, but uh, we got to probably change after this offseason, maybe, because I just want to see how this offseason goes. Um, downloading my 2021 NFL Draft Class, 2021 Jake, for great draft class content, you know? Uh, the linebackers, Fred Warner, probably the best cover linebacker in the league. Yeah, and then Dre Greenlaw is also pretty solid. Mario Nizula needs to get Mark, actually. He needs to get upgrade for sure. Uh, Richard Sermon's pretty solid, has been for a very, very long time. Jason Brett is sort of guy's career, derailed by injuries. Kawan Williams, em Emmanuel Mosley, Kella Witherspoon. They got a lot of corners. JC, I mean, uh, not JC, uh, um, Jimmy Ward and... Jaquaski Tart. I know it looks like Jaquiski, it's Jaquaski, but let's go to. I'm going to download my draft class at the Super Bowl week, and then we need to re sign some guys. So the Browns ended up being the Rams in the Super Bowl. They're both already eliminated, as we know, but Trent Williams, Richard Sherman went down to Star. Are you kidding me? Kyle Yushak, I can probably bring back. Trent Williams he needs to be brought back as well. Jason. Verrett probably can't. Chikwaski Tart, same. Uh, Jordan Reed, no. Kwan Williams, no. Tevin Coleman, no. Man, I'm getting a lot of no's. But, uh, actually, Emmanuel mostly probably can come back, right? We do have a decent amount of cap room. I'll show you guys who we end up bringing back, though. The only two guys that I brought back, oh, I, I completely forgot about, uh, Trent Williams. And, uh, so that, whoa, Trent here, my guy? You want kind of a lot. Uh, he's going to test free agency. Uh, what's the franchise tag for Mr. Trent Williams? It's probably a lot, right? I could probably let him walk. I mean, he's the only rebuild I ever have him in, though. Kyle Yushak, he's good for that. He, fullbacks aren't useful, but... I mean, uh, he wants to test for agency as well. Okay, fine. Go to free agency. I right, let's go to free agency. Stop uh, dilly dallying around with players that we don't need. In free agency, I honestly don't want anything. I don't know why. Just nothing is appealing right here. Uh, there's a, some guys we have to trade though, so I'm gonna go do that. Madden is broken, and it gave us the 28th pick sucks because it's not my fault. I 
Remember, I downloaded it from the, um, what's that we call it? The, um, a divisional round week. And it's like, nah, that's so annoying. Now we have the 20th pick and we're going to miss out on all the good QBs, but it's all right, I guess. We are making a trade with the New York Jets. This is uh, where this money's going. We have a ton of money now. So I'm probably just going to make one more trade. D Ford's going to pay 20 mil. Okay, D. Um, That's kind of a lot. I, I thought they had way less money than what they have, actually. You know, I probably don't even need to make another uh, trade. Because we got to stay realistic here. I know that trade wasn't ultra realistic. But I guess we are going to the um, draft now. Which... I guess it did by, like, um, because, like, no picks are right right now. And it's kind of frustrating because we're going to miss out on all these really talented QBs. Here we are at number 10, and I forgot that we pick here. I'm not, I can't take Trey Lance right here. I just can't. There are too many go other good players. Like, Patrick Sertan is just, I think, too much to pass up as we need cornerback desperately we're going to go with Patrick Sertan here out of Alabama. 77 overall with Star Better Dev. Uh, he's really, really solid. He's a really, very, very good player. So I guess let's go to 28 now. Here we are at 28. And a guy like Wyatt Davis still on the board. We need help on the interior all line. I get Stephen Collins is pretty tough to pass up. But Wyatt Davis still available. You can't pass up. 72 overall, star better dev. Um, he's a really, really good player. That's been solid for Ohio State. So, uh, really, really solid pick up there. Mac Jones is still available, but I don't want him. Like, I'll wait next round if, like, someone's good. Like, I think I'm going to go receiver. No, actually, we still don't have a lot at corner. And, uh, Sean Wade is bad, but I think we need to go Sean Wade with this pick. Sean Wade it is, 69 overall, star better dev. He's really, really bad for Ohio State. Only a slot corner, but we don't have a third-round pick? Oh, that's so frustrating. Oh, I guess, um, come on. Hopefully a QB doesn't go... Maybe we'll not be stuck with junk. Oh. What was I expecting, though? Let's go Daz Newsome with the final pick of the draft for a 69 overall. Star better dev, though. So, Daz Newsome is okay, I guess. Let's go to the end of the draft. I mean, we gotta find a QB. I think the best bet with us is gonna be Dwayne Haskins, you know? Uh, to be completely honest... I could see this happening for some reason. I feel like Dwayne Haskins would be really, really solid in the 49ers like, uh, scheme, you know. Uh, but, you know, that's that's something. We got uh, Dwayne Haskins to start this year at QB, so there's that. And we have a 63-rated star by our dev guy. That It's kind of frustrating. This is a team editing the season. It's... I don't expect this to be good. We got Dwayne Haskins, I tell you. But uh, Sean Wade is going to play as my third corner. That's why we drafted Sean Wade, actually. So that's not that bad. But I'm moving Eric Armstead inside to play defensive tackle. Then we'll go to the um, going brain dead um, midseason mark. But. I don't expect this to be good by any means. So we are here at the Mr. Mark. We're five and one, but I am mad. Very, very mad. Because Taysom Hill is the starting QB. It has killed the development of Dwayne Haskins, but you know, suck to suck, I guess. So very, very frustrating, but. We do have to, it's for 5-1, and one, which is very, very good. Much better than expected. So that makes me consider. 
Our 49ers playbook's the move. It takes him as 84 throw power. Are you actually kidding me? Fred Warner needs a contract. As does Mike McGlinchey. Then the rest can definitely go. I could probably trade Lincoln, Tomlinson, and Raheem Mostert, though. So we just pay, overpaid Fred Warner, like, a lot, a lot. And then, um, Mike McGlinchey was kind of underpaid for a tackle of his caliber. But I know we're, we're trying to keep it realistic. But we also do have to trade players when, when such scenarios like this do come up. So I'm going to try to trade these two. Raheem Mostert, Lincoln Tomlinson gets me 14 overall. Those other two players were just to make the cap work. So, let's go to the playoffs, which, as far as I can tell right now, we're going to be a part of. So, what do you know? We actually made the playoffs in 9-7. So, that's, I guess, Niners playbooks are just the move. As we had the 28th offense. Wait. So, Dwayne ask uh, us to tell you, you guys what happened in a minute. 13th best defense. But how did we do so solid, I guess? I, I don't know, but Dwayne Haskins um, was sort of on pace for MVP. So, yeah, you have to take this into account that I think we had had our bye week, right? We were 5-1, and one, so, no, we already had our bye week. So, yeah, Taysom, well, he would have missed the game, but Dwayne Haskins was sort of on pace for 42 touchdowns in five thousand yards I, I mean a little bit less but still Dwayne Haskins was unreal oh I traded my running back away <laughs> good thing we got Maurice Beal I don't know why I traded most of but Ayuk and Kittle were very odd as was Diva Samuel uh, no one else really did anything but defensively Fred Warner had 145 tackles so Fred Warner you know the balling out I think believe we went up to superstar sector as well. I forgot to mention. Uh, D four just gonna chill with uh, you know, twelve and a half sacks. You gonna regret seven and a half for Armstead and Bosa, but interceptions three for Emmanuel Mosley. Okay, but we were very solid, I guess. Matthew Stafford wins MVP. As I just saw, uh, Dan Quinn was higher on the legacy leaderboard than Kyle Shanahan. Uh. You know, just weird things happen. Oh my gosh, I just farted. It was kind of loud. Was, wait, the Lions went 4-12 and and Matt Stafford won MVP. So there's that. NFC offense play of the year is Matt Stafford. It just sucks that these... Justin, the Bears had the second pick. That's so annoying. Defense play of the year, though, is Roquan Smith. Seriously, Fred Warner at 6 of 145 tackles. Nick Bolton up there. You know, that's just what happens sometimes. Offense of the year is Justin Fields, Trey Lance, Mac Jones ended up going to football team, Brock Purdy. Okay, Najee Harris, Sage Shurak. Oh, there we go, Maurice Spiel. I hate to see it. Defense of the year, Nick Bolton. Uh, okay, Sertan up there, number three. Sean Wade at ten, I mean nine, but. Let's see if we can beat the Panthers. Come on, team. Uh, we don't need to beat the Panthers, but come on. Show some heart, and we get a first-round playoff as We lose 19-17. to Let's go to Super Bowl. Week. Thrilling Super Bowl matchup as the Packers beat the Titans 44-38, which looked like it was a thriller. Uh, let's see the team, though. As we don't have much of a quarterback or running back, but as Newsom looked like he developed pretty well as his wide receiver. Sick defensively. Uh, Sertan is X Factor. I mean, he's a really, really good player, though, so but I think it's well deserved. Did seriously no one go up? How did D Ford? I mean, we don't have talent. I mean, yeah, I take the back. We have talent. We either are, are really good in some places or really, really bad in others, so. Haskins could probably get a contract, but I'm just going to get another quarterback. There are two players at the top of free agency that need to come to our team, Aaron Jones and Jamal Adams. You almost never see the two in here. Aaron Jones, you saw 
pretty frequently at the beginning of the year, but you have not seen him a lot recently. Uh, we don't need corner. I, I'm not. I, 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 I should not be looking at things that we don't need. But I'm probably also going to sign a linebacker. Uh, Matt Milano wouldn't be too bad, but he is 28, which is not the ideal. I'm actually probably going to sign Jerome Baker. So that Jerome Baker is a pretty solid player, and he's pretty young. Not getting any bids, right? So, yeah, you can't pass up on that. And then those are the only guys I'm going to bring. First wave of free agency, we got Jamal Adams. So that is huge. Fills our strong safety bit hole. So we'll have to up our bet on Aaron Jones and Jerome Baker. So, okay. We got Jerome Baker, but we didn't get Aaron Jones, which is kind of frustrating if I do say so myself. Just because we don't have a really solid running back. Ronald Jones, Raheem, no. I'm going to sign Rashad Penny. Uh, I mean, I mean, he's not bad, but. This running back is not going to work. I'll tell you that for free. So I'm just going to go to the draft. There's a sick, sick QB at the top of the board. Lions have MVP QB matches after. They don't need him, but they probably will take him, right? Yes, they take a wide receiver. Patriots probably. Oh, sickening. And the Bengals take a center. Oh, I needed that QB so bad. Oh, but there's this guy, Greg Bolden. Not as good as the other one at all. Max Richards is actually better. He's six five. I think I'm gonna go with Max Richards later, right? We do pick at twenty three. Where is Max supposed to go? Twelve picks. Yeah, he probably will be available, so I'm just going to look around for players to take. With this pick, I will be taking Rashawn Childers out of Georgia. I mean, Childers looks unreal. B-plus zone, B-plus pursuit, and he is pretty, pretty good. 76 overall with Star Better Dev. I get that we just took a safety at number four overall, but it was well worth it, as he is a beast, so... He will go play free safety for us. Here we are picking at 23, and you know who we're going to take. It's Max Richards out of Oregon State. We have to go with him. He's probably going to have normal, right? Yep, 74 rated with normal, but it's okay. We can develop him. He's got a cannon, so that's really, really solid. Top of the second round, I hope this running back is still available, but you know, Wingman, it, he probably won't be. I am in between two running backs and Antoine Sheeks and Clyde Coleman. But the ultimate difference maker between the two of them is that Antoine Sheeks is just a little bit faster. So I'm going to take him. Antoine Sheeks, wow. 78 overall with star better dev is a pretty good player. So he will come in and start right away. The player that I want goes right in front of me. Ooh, Greg Bolden's still available. Why not take him? Have a bit of a QB controversy. Wow. What a way to make a QB controversy, Mr. Greg Bolden. As they have the exact same face. It's kind of creepy. But I think Greg Bolden's going to start, actually, now that I think about it. Because he's the one with star better depth. So you love to see that. He is probably our franchise QB. There aren't really any good players avail uh, available for me to take, so I'm just going to go to the end of the draft. And Joe Jackson goes, to the action, not to be confused with the defensive end for the Browns, but let's go check out the team for the third season. We got tied for the number one overall player in the class. Cordell Waters, I saw, went. Uh, we had to go QB, though. And it turns out that we didn't have to go QB there. Calvin Thurston looked like a pretty good player. This is the guy that won Cooper Barden. Borden, I mean. I'm honestly not mad. He's 75 rated with no dev trait, so that is fine. Let's see the team heading into this season. Hopefully it's, um, I think it should be pretty solid, though, as we have a Rookie QB starting in Greg Bolden. Uh, 
Cheeks needs to be in there. This is a team, I guess. This is how I'm playing it. Oh, 62 rated star better D, D or left end probably, right? Yeah, so, uh, Sean Wade needs to get in there. Childress is going to play free safety. Baker going to play right outside linebacker. Uh, and then I'll make some specialist changes probably. Uh, Ayuk in the slot. Sean Wade in the nickel. Uh, those are my rush ends, rush you tackle, sub linebacker, and I will see you at the midseason mark. Here we are at the midseason mark, and Mr. Greg Bolden chilling with Superstar X Factor. I love to see it. Um, but the problem is, we are one in six. I mean, last year we were way, way better with a way, way worse team. It just doesn't make any sense at all. Nick Bosa needs to come back as is Debo Samuel, Dre Greenlaw. Please don't tell me Dre Greenlaw once paid like an edge. I mean, he doesn't really want paid like an edge, but like still it's like kind of a lot. And then the rest can probably go. Dre Greenlaw, Debo Samuel, and Nick Bosa are all re-signed, but... It's just interesting why we're one in six when we have a pretty, pretty solid team. We did not make the playoffs as expected, but it's hard to when you start season one and six. We finished six and ten. Fifteenth uh, best offense. Greg Bolden, though, had a very, very solid, very good rookie year. Best defense. Twentieth in points scored. Seventh in points allowed. What? I mean, did we just go on a weird streak at the beginning of the year? Greg Bolden looking pretty sick with Superstar X Factor. Max Richards can probably get traded, whatever. Antoine Cheeks probably isn't that good, but uh, he only has star. He was pretty bad. That's a side penny, though. Receiving Debo and Ayuk were very, very solid. Kittle was pretty solid again as well. Bourne did okay. Defensively, Fred Warner, pretty solid year, I'd say. Uh, 16, uh, 16 sacks for Nick Bosa, so contract well worth it. 8 for Kinlaw, 6 for Armstead, and 4. Uh, interceptions. 2 for Fred Warner, led the team. I wonder why that's why. We had 5 interceptions the entire year. What has happened? Josh Allen wins the award of the MVP. Uh, seriously? No, uh, our guy? I mean, he did throw 17 picks, though. NFC Offensive Player of the Year, Kobe Brissett with these Saints, dude. Uh, Greg Bolden in there at number 10. Defense Player of the Year, Devin White. Nick Bosa up there, number 2. Love to see it. No Fred Warner, but Offensive of the Year is Greg Bolden. Cheeks in there at number 2. Okay. I think I'd rather Cheeks win it, but the events are years. Trey Blackburn. Right, that's, yeah. Rashawn Child Childers at uh, number two. Austin Hill. Ten. I don't know who that is, but let's go to Super Bowl week. The Giants ended up actually beating the Chiefs in the Super Bowl, so uh, that's interesting, but... We gotta check out the squad. Greg Bolden, you know, has superstar factor. I'm surprised one of our receivers didn't go up and dev like a Ayuk or Samuel, but it's all right. Defensively, Childers. Oh yeah, he's a he already had star better. I'm pretty sure. Uh, but seriously, none at all. I mean, it wouldn't have either been our QB or uh, Nick Bosa, but they already both had X Factor, so. We'll go to the free agency. That actually was one. Daz Newsome could have sent normal. So, headed into free agency. I'm trying to figure out what I need. I think I need corner, but I honestly am kind of fine with what we have at corner. As I just realized how similar Jerome Baker and Dre Greenlaw look. And they look kind of similar. But we don't really need D-line. I think... I think what we need is just a receiver, like a difference maker. 
Like, Samuel and Ayuk are okay, but, like, they're not doing a whole lot. We only have 11 mil. That'd be tough to do something. Unfortunately, the receivers are terrible. I mean, we could go O-line. But, funny how Anthony Costanzo is still in here, so he retired in real life. I mean, Joe Batonio would be okay. I'm just probably going to honestly save my money, not sign anyone. Maybe a kicker and punter, though. So there goes the play that I win. Quentin Allen, 78 rated. He had B-plus man coverage at safety. There goes another sick. I almost have to skip ahead in the draft. That would not have been good. Um, There's only really, like, one good receiver, as far as I can tell. So, and he is, uh, wow, farther down the board than I would have expected. But I'm just going to take him now. It's probably our biggest decision I need, if I do say so myself. So I'm just going to keep looking around and see what we do. Uh, I'm going to cut D Ford right now. He's, I'm freeing up a ton of cap. D Ford, you were fun to have. And then I will take an edge. Um, D Ford didn't have too much trade value, so I'm going to take Channing Smith out of LSU. Looks pretty unreal. And he is 79 overall, number one in the class, with Star better depth, so he's already better than D Ford, which is kind of insane. As he's got 87 power moves. There we go. I'm I I couldn't trade up with anyone, and then I was like, oh right, yeah, we have Max Richards chilling on the bench. We didn't need him with this pick. We will be getting a weapon for our quarterback in Keyshawn Keys out of Virginia. He's probably going to be 75 with normal, but. Okay, 78 overall, normal, but he, whoa, what was his 40 time? I'm going to go back on the thing. I don't know if I got it, but he's got 98 speed. Dude, this guy is a beast, just doesn't really run routes at a super high level, but he's got 98 speed. Wow. Wow. With this pick here in the second round, I will be taking Andrew Morris out of Ole Miss. 73 rated with normal. It is fine, but he's going to come and start right away because we need left tackle and left guard. In the third round, I will be taking the other center. He could be available. He possibly couldn't be available. You don't know if he will be available or not, but he is, so I will be taking him, and he's also a 73 rated with a normal depth. So there Pretty much the same player, and that will end the draft. This is a team for the fourth season. We'll do one more season after this one. This is a very, very, very good team. Oh, it's making me reorder the depth chart because Nick Bosa and Channing Smith don't want to play where they want to play. Bourne is going to be my fourth receiver. Because we like keys better. The rookie with 98 speed. I couldn't find his 40 time. I didn't even look at his 40 time. I gotta start looking at that. But He will also be playing in the slot. These are how specialists are going to look. And let's go to the midseason mark. Midseason mark, we're 3 and 4 again. Come on, guys. Playbook change, Niners offense isn't it. <laughs> the, the, I think Niners defense actually is pretty solid. Yeah, it's our offense is doing really, really bad right now. 14th defense, though? I don't know. I'm going to change the offense around. But we do have to bring back um, Ayuk, Kinlaw. And then the rest can go. So, just Ayuk and Kinlaw. Kinlaw and Ayuk were brought back, but I just changed the playbooks to uh, Bears offense and then changed the defense. I changed it to 46 defense, which will hopefully work, but let's go to the midseason mark. We didn't make the playoffs again. It's so frustrating. Finishing 7-9. and nine. Actually, our division was terrible. Bolden, 
got had a sophomore slump and passing touchdown. This is so frustrating because we have a pretty, a very, very good team, but playbooks just didn't work. But, I mean, Bolden was pretty, it wasn't that great. Had a decent amount of passing yards. Cheeks had four fumbles. You can't do that. Receiving, Kittle was all right. Keys had a pretty solid rookie year. Samuel, all right, as did IU. They were all about the same defensively. Warner had five picks. Okay, Fred Warner. Sacks, seven for Nick Bosa, five and a half for Armstead. Chandon, Channing Smith, the rookie, went with two. But he has superstar dev, okay. Probably going to regress because no Madden, two sacks is like nothing. Five picks for Warner, three for Sertan, two for Mosley, and then just one for Greenlaw. So apparently we just had, uh, I don't know. I don't even know what that season was. Deshaun Watson wins MVP. I don't expect to see our guy right. And it's Kevin's play here. Is Justin Fields. Greg Bolden up there, number eight. I, I mean, I guess he's up there. Chris Barnes. Wins Stevens Rookie of the Year. Fred Warner, how at seven. He was unbelievable. But offense for years, Marcus, uh, I'm not going to try. Keyshawn Keys in there, number three. Defense Rookie Year, Nick Rhodes. Channing Smith at number three. I don't know why we weren't, why we, like, I mean, I guess our offense picked it up a little bit second half, but they ultimately didn't. Bear, Justin Fields and the Bears beat the Browns in the Super Bowl. Show me some dev increases. Keys didn't go up, but he's progressing a decent amount, I guess you could say. Defensively, I am just not going to see anything, am I? I'm never going to see any dev increases. I don't know if I've seen, like, one this entire video. Maybe Actually, Fred Warner did go up, but, dude, I am seeing no dead increases right now. The only real player I'm going after in this free agency class is LeJarius Sneed. I'm also going after a kicker and punter. Hopefully, LeJarius Sneed does sign. But that's any does. As does the GOAT, Rodrigo Blankenship. Uh, and then our punter signs. So, that's good. Let's go to the draft. In the draft, it's best player available, so the best player available is Tyrone Casey out of San Diego State. 77 overall, number one in the draft with normal now. He is going to be my third defense tackle. Uh, I only need, I only really wanted to take one pick in the draft, so I'm just going to go to the end of the draft. We don't need anything. We're headed in the final season. We just need to hope that Madden isn't dumb. This is the team for the final season. You know what it looks like. This is it. Specialists. I'm putting keys in the slot again. Who knows how well that's going to turn out. I think we should be good this season, but who knows if we will or not. 6-1, and one, what I like to see. So we started off 6-0, and oh, which is fabulous. We have a very, very good team. Sertan's going to need a contract. He's going to be expensive. Armstead, McGlinchey, White Davis, Dad's Newsom, Sean Wade, Greg Stevenson. Oh my gosh, there's so many. We made the playoffs. Did not get a first round by those. So we went 12 and 4. They, well, I looked and the last two football team kind of hurt us. This football team won the NFC in the regular season. But the C we do have to play the Seahawks, which we will jump in and try out some stats. Third offense, Greg Bolden dominated. Second best defense. Even Cheeks started doing some good things. So I love to see it. Third and point scored. Are you very solid? It seems for the points allowed. Greg Bolden, you'd have to say, wins MVP, right? He's already a 91 overall in just his second season. That's insane. Rushing Cheeks, toned down everything. Rashad Penny is now fumbling four times. Get off my team. Receiving. Ayuk was very good, as was Keyshawn Kizo. Ayuk was just a dominant force. Better go up to superstar. Even Cheeks did good out of the backfield. Defense. Who allowed some sacks? I just want. I'm just curious. Stevenson allowed 11, dude. 
Uh, defensively, though, Dre Greenlaw was pretty solid, as was Fred Warner, who was probably better. Uh, interceptions. What? <laughs> You'd never see those numbers in the sim. As Rashawn Childers just casually going to have seven picks. <laughs> One pick in there for Jamal Adams. <laughs> seven picks. That's ridiculous. No way. What are your numbers that you just think you can come in and take away Greg Bolden's MVP? He played for the Saints. No way he was anything close to what Greg Bolden did. Oh. Didn't... Bolden... I mean, they arguably had the same season. Which is frustrating, though. The... Bolden's going to go up to, wait, he's already at X Factor. <laughs> what am I saying? NFC Office Player of the Year. Earl Harden. I'm depressed. Steven Square Year's Eric Kendrick. Kali Hudson at number two. Okay. Uh, that's not going to happen. Rashawn Trowler says finish at number nine, but he had also seven interceptions. Cody Reiner up there. Greener, Reiner, I don't know. Uh, defense trick here is, uh, his name is Justin Williamson, but you guys can't see it. Uh, Tyrone Casey, whoever that is, did what he did. I, he, he's probably a really, really good player. But let's hop in here against the Seattle Seahawks.